What is up YouTube? We are back with some DBFC and today we are versing a Gotenks. I dropped the combo, fuck. Base Vegeta and Super Saiyan for Gogeta. Um, and I wanted to discuss the upcoming UFC card this weekend, 260. Gonna be a great card. We got the um the heavyweight bout with uh Inganu versus um Stipe. Um but before we get into the main event, um there are a couple good fights on the prelims. We got Sean O'Malley versus Thomas Almeida, which is looking to be um a great fight at Bantamweight. Uh, I, I don't I don't remember the last time Thomas Almeida fight, fought. It's been a while, but uh, he looked good his last fight. You know, um, I think he was a little he had a long layoff before. Uh, oh shit! Uh, before he um, stepped in the octagon and he uh, he looked good. He got the job done. So um, I'm curious to see how he's gonna come in there. Stylistically, I'm leaning a little more towards. O'Malley just because um well you know the, just the style the reach the length the way he chooses to fight um very sharp you know on the outside he likes to stay on the outside which will work in his favor uh Almeida is a very like Thai boxer-esque fighter right he, he's like methodical slow likes to stay in the pocket you know take his time and work his opponent I guess the leg kicks will be the biggest difference. Um, Almeida's got some decent leg kicks. Some decent leg kicks. So um, he could work away at O'Malley with that. Um, definitely get the job done. I don't think his grappling will be enough to um, factor in. But uh, we'll see. Anything can happen. Anything can happen. I'm leading towards O'Malley in that one, though. I think it's a, a good matchup for him. Um, likely gonna get a finish if uh just the way o'malley fights it's um very clean very sharp um dangerous at long range especially for the weight class so we'll see what happens though we'll see what happens anything could happen in the fight game and o'malley is despite his skills still unproven um we don't know how far he's gonna go so time will tell time will tell i threw out an orb and got got hit Next hit will kill my beers. Unless I swap. Ah. Go for the level three. Get some pressure on this dude. So after that fight, that's the Bantamweight bout. Um, there's a welterweight fight. A good welterweight fight. Which is uh, between Vincent Luque and the four, former champ Tyron Woodley. Who's been on a legendary losing streak. <laughs> as all the... Uh, MMA fans and media like to point out um, he's like lost like his last 15 rounds in the UFC he's been versing some high level competition this is definitely going to be his easiest fight um, quote unquote easiest fight um, his lowest skilled opponent in a long time you know Vincent Luque who's really good a really good fighter um, we'll go into this this guy quit on me so I'll, I'll be back in the next match be right back all right, we are back. Sorry about the delay. Uh, my computer was acting a little slow. This guy's been patiently waiting for me. And it ended up being the same guy. I literally had to quit out of my game to get the volume back going. And um, load it back up, load it back up into the lobby, search for a match. And here we are with a Penguin Head 11, my homie. So, where were we? Oh, yes, Vincent Luque. Yeah, so Woodley, his competition that he's been facing recently, super fucking stiff. Um, with uh, Usman, Colby, Gilbert. Oh man, this guy's just been put through the ringer. Not to mention Maya, Wonderboy, um, Robbie Lawler in his last fight. So he's fought some really good competition. So I don't believe Vincent Luque is on the same level as those other fighters. But uh, Woodley's mindset, just from what... I've seen in his fights, he just doesn't seem to want it anymore. So I, I don't know what Tyron Woodley's gonna show up here. Um, the good news is, is that uh, Luke is such a traditional fighter in his movements and style that uh, it could play out well for Woodley. 
Um, you know? So, uh, there is hope that he's just going to be there for the counters, you know? He's not going to put on so much volume that uh, Woodley's not going to be able to handle it. He'll put on a lot of pressure, but that works in the favor of Woodley. He likes to back up. He likes to take his time. So, someone who's going to be there for him, but not always be throwing, works really well for Woodley to land his power. But we'll see. We will see how that fight goes out. I'm not really sure who to lean towards. It's hard for me to bet on Woodley just based on his last few performances. But anything is possible. Anything is possible. So we'll see how that fight goes. It's going to be a good fight regardless. I actually really like watching Vincent. Is it Vincent? Vicente Luque fight. He's got a good tie style as well. He's very similar to Thomas Almeida actually. Um, in terms of their style. Prods for prods forward relentless pressure a lot of volume a lot of good kicks and um this guy just left again he got his ass whooped and didn't want didn't want the smoke so we're gonna be back when we find another match and we'll get into the main event Alrighty, back and this time we're versing a 21 player in adult gohan i used to main adult gohan when the game first came out for like years literally years um, he's kind of fallen off due to nerfs and stuff, but for whatever reason, because he's so rare, I like struggle against him. And 21 is just a fucking monster. God damn, I hate fighting that girl. Oh, and I got command grab trying to reflect. All right, so the main event, Stipe versus Nganu. That's going to be a crazy fight, man. Stipe, the heavyweight goat. He is like my favorite heavyweight fighter of all time. Well, shout out to C-Level Kane. Shout out to C-Level Kane. But, um, it's so hard to bet against Stipe. I don't even know if if Kane would have been able to take that fight, to be honest. Stipe is just so fucking good, man. So fucking good. And he already beat Nganu, so it's like... What, uh... It's hard to... it. It's hard to bet against him, you know? Um, it really does depend on how... How good... Nganu's takedown defense has gotten and maybe how good his offensive pressure is um, if he's patient and can set up his shots the takedown may not come as easy for Stipe but uh, it's just one of those things I don't know if Nganu has had enough time to close the gap in skill Stipe is so fucking good man and wrestling is, is, is difficult like it's not just something you can pick up and master and be on the level of a high level athlete like it takes time to condition their body and learn technique and stuff like that especially mixed with the mma the setups off slips and head movement into shots and takedowns it it could be really rough for nganu if he doesn't get it done in that first round maybe first two rounds i'll give him the second round i feel like his conditioning has improved his uh experience will play into his how he reserves his energy so we'll see, we'll, we'll see what happens, but um, yeah, if he doesn't get in the, those first two rounds, this is going to favor Stipe big time. Um, so I'm definitely curious to see how the fight plays out. Stipe is just so fucking good everywhere, man. I love watching him fight. The real exciting aspect is who's going to fight John Jones next. I really hope Stipe wins. I'm rooting for Stipe in this fight, just because he's so... He's got so many accolades in the heavy division, the heavyweight division, compared to every other UFC fighter, that he's just the GOAT, you know? And John Jones is the GOAT at light heavyweight. Both of them are, like, the heaviest weight classes and by far the most decorated athletes in the division in the history of the sport. So seeing the two of them fight each other, I wouldn't even know who to root for. There are very few absolutes in MMA. You know, there's very few things that you can guarantee. Two of those things, I'll tell you right now, you don't bet against Stipe, and you don't bet against John Jones. Those are some of the only absolutes in the entire sport that I, in my years of, of experience as a viewer, that I've come to know and learn. So that would just be such an amazing fight. That literally may be, like, the biggest fight in UFC history, and I just got read like a book. Ooh, that was bad. I hate 21, man. Look at this comeback. I don't know who I would take in that fight, Jones versus Stipe. That is 
Oh, see, I should have been fucking ready to fucking to reach that bitch there. Oh no! God damn! I can't believe she took that game. I can't believe she took that game. How did I even lose, man? Just fucking vanish in two H's. <sighs> Twenty-one. This bitch. This bitch. God damn. She's like she's like a John Jones or Stipe. Just when you think you've won, they just pull it out. Pull out the dub. I did not mean to switch. That was supposed to be an assist call. Oh my goodness. But yeah, definitely excited for the fights this weekend. Definitely curious to see how they play out. Oh, counter. Not many, uh, I haven't seen many Gogeta players use that. I haven't seen, I should have threw out a Vanish. Super Dash, come on, you know you want to. Oh, he delayed it with the Super Dash. He delayed it with the Super Dash. Yeah, but I'm definitely excited for the fight. I, I want to see these striking exchanges. I love watching Stipe's boxing. He's actually so good. I think he's probably the best boxer heavyweight. I used to give it to JDS, but I just find that uh, I like Stipe's defense a bit more. Uh, um, JDS has he gotten as his. Wow, I wanted the fucking spark. Oh my goodness, this is not boding well for me. Not boding well for me at all. Yeah, JDS as he as he got older, I felt his defense just fell apart. A lot more overhands. I don't know if he if it was fear in his chin or whatever. He's just he just wasn't the same. Um, he's had some great performances though recently. His, I remember his fight against Derek Lewis was fucking awesome. Absolutely sensational. Absolutely sensational. But uh, yeah, Stipe's just the guy who gets it done for me, man. I love watching him fight, so I'm very excited to watch him perform this weekend. I don't know how many more fights he has left before he retires, to be honest. Um, he's getting up there, and he's already done so much in the, in, in the weight class. I think it's Nganu, John Jones, and then I guess we'll see how he feels and what he wants to do. Right now, we're getting the work put on us. A lot of damage being done. I might have to spark here soon. Stop that pressure. Ugh. A little too early on that. Wow, I was mashing and I just got. Ooh, it's not good. My character might get deleted here. No, the sparking's gonna keep me alive. I'm gonna have to block after. Or unless I do some UI Goku shit. Yeah, some UI Goku shit. I'm gonna go into Beers. Both these guys are one hit away from death, so I'd rather have the assist. Fuck. Too early. Can we kill here? All right, finally caught a 2H off vanish. But sound off in the comments below. Who you guys are, who you guys are rooting for this weekend? Who do you think are gonna take some fights? Make sure to like, subscribe, and share. I gotta start saying that early in the videos. Based on all the YouTube videos I watch, these motherfuckers don't let me go five minutes without saying some like, subscribe, and share bullshit. So you know, I'm gonna get better with that. Unfortunately for you guys, but fortunate for the growth of this channel. And uh, I hope you all have a good weekend. And uh, I'm trying to think of like a like a really witty outro. I was gonna say it's time, but I'm like it's not fucking time yet. We got like fucking seven days before this bitch goes on. Regardless, regardless, enjoy the fights this weekend. Check out some music, and I'll catch you all later. Peace. So